Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a subscriber requested video. This is one that I've been trying to get to for a really long time and I'm finally having a chance to sit down and do this one. Um, this is going to be the best of Zara video. So uh, today I pulled out all of the fragrances, not all of them. Um, these are most of the Zara fragrances that I have. These are not, the ones that are missing mostly are some like Joe Loves ones. I just pulled out the best of the Joe Loves as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. Some of these are not on their website anymore. I will tell you guys though, keep your eye out because they often restock and before they like completely discontinue, they sometimes do restock and I just went on um, and put in an order a few days ago for the new uh, Delicate Rose, I think is what it's called, from the Jo Malone, as well as um, another one that came out in this line. And I saw that they had restocked Rose Gourmand, they restocked Red Temptation, um, they, they had restocked some of the ones that a lot of you guys were really disappointed that you couldn't get. So run to Zara, <laughs> get on the website, order them if you wanted those before they are sold out again. Also, I wanted to say something really quickly before I start this video. Um, I've been looking at my channel analytics, which I'm really, really bad about doing, and I saw that um, more than half of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. So more than half of you that watch my videos just watch that watch them and are not subscribed so if you are not subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button um, it's free it doesn't hurt you in any way it's just gonna ensure that my videos come up on your feed if that's something that you want um, I would it would mean the world to me if you did subscribe if you're somebody that just watches um, yeah please do consider hitting that subscribe button oh and if you are subscribed uh, or if you do know, or if you are a subscriber, you know that you are subscribed to my channel, please check and make sure that you are still subscribed because YouTube, for whatever reason, will just unsubscribe people from channels. It, it's not just me. It happens to every YouTuber out there. Um, I don't know what goes on with it, but YouTube will just randomly unsubscribe people. So... If you are a subscriber, please do check to make sure that you are still subscribed um, because, yeah, YouTube does some crazy things like that. So anyways, let's jump right in to the best of Zara. So I'm going to start with the fragrances that look like this that come in these bottles. Um, these are the ones that came out, I want to say, earlier last year or maybe, maybe like in the spring of last year. I think they came out last spring. Um, this one is my favorite from this whole line. This is called Emochi Atelier. Yeah, Emochi Atelier. I used to call it Atelier, but then somebody was like, no, it's Atelier. So Emochi Atelier. And this is my absolute favorite one. This is pear and rice and something else. Ugh, but mostly you just get that pear and that rice note. And it is so beautiful. This is my favorite one. The only bad thing about this one is it lasts all of 10 minutes and then you can't smell it on you anymore. So smell it on you. You can't smell it on, you can't smell it on yourself anymore. Um, I don't know if others can still smell it, but it's a good thing I have a huge bottle because you do have to reapply this like if I wanted to smell like this all day, I would legitimately probably have to reapply this 10 times in a day but I don't even care because it smells so amazing. I love it. So that is a Mochi Atelier in Tokyo. That is my absolute favorite one. And then the other one that I really liked from that line is the Sweet Pastry in Paris. This one got hyped up like no other. Um, and I do think it's beautiful, but I still, I think that the uh, Mochi Atelier in Tokyo is way better than this one. Um, this is a beautiful, like, sweet lemon fragrance. It's like a lemon, you, it's, it's like a lemon bar. Um, and this is very, very round and sweet smelling. There's nothing crisp, there's nothing citrusy. It's like a super, super sugary lemon fragrance. 
And you can also smell like a crust, like a buttery pastry. It's, it is, it's really beautiful. Um, this one lasts a lot better than the Atelier, uh, but I don't know. It's, it wasn't my favorite. Like I much, much prefer the Emochi Atelier, but it is still a very beautiful one. Um, one of my favorites from Zara, like of all time. So I do still love it. Don't get me wrong. So that is a sweet pastry in Paris. And I will tell you, you guys, I have bought over the years, I have bought so, so many Zara fragrances. And what I've got here, what I'm calling the best of Zara, is what I've kept in my collection from various hauls. These are the fragrances that have made it through. So these are definitely my favorite. Okay, next one is in this bottle as well, and this one is just called Vanilla. Now, I don't think they have it on their website right now, but I have seen them sell out and restock this a couple times, so you just have to keep your eye out for it. But this is just a beautiful single, like single note vanilla. It's, it's like, well, it's not single note, but it doesn't have a ton in it. It's basically like a Madagascar vanilla. Um, this one reminds me, this one reminds me of like a slightly sweeter version of like Eau Duel from, um, from Diptyque. It's really beautiful. It's not like a sweet a vanilla. It's more of like a dry, um, yeah, like a dry vanilla, but it does have a touch of sweetness. It's not quite as dry as like Eau Duel is. It's gorgeous though. It smells so much more expensive than it is. And I layer this a lot with the next one that we're going to talk about, which is cardamom. And this is just, again, gosh, this is a beautiful cardamom fragrance. This one leans just a touch masculine, but not too masculine. Oh my gosh, it's so good though. And I love to layer the cardamom and the vanilla together. It's such a gorgeous fragrance, like in the fall and winter. So, so good. So those are two really good ones, vanilla and cardamom. Next we have, this is kind of an oldie but a goodie. Um, I love this fragrance. This one got way hyped up. Um, I think, I can't remember. I think Demi Rowling talked about it like, it's been years ago now. Um, I think it's been a few years ago now, but it got super hyped up after that, and it really is a gorgeous fragrance. This one doesn't last the longest. Um, I think I've only got two, yeah, I've only got two fragrances in this entire bunch that will get me through an entire day. Um, everything else is going to have to be reapplied. Zara is not known for their longevity, so um, it just is what it is. But anyways, this is from the tobacco collection. This is called Rich Warm Addictive, and this is beautiful. This is tobacco and honey and coconut. It's so, so good. This is perfectly unisex. I wear this. My husband wears it. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorites from Zara of all time. It's beautiful. I love wearing it in the winter. If I super over spray this, like 10 to 15 sprays, I can get it to last about eight hours. But I have to really, really over spray it. That's why I have such a huge dent in this. Mine is like, I don't know if you guys can see. I've got a pretty good dent in this. Of course, I have had it a couple years now. But anyways, that is Zara Rich Warm Addictive. Okay, the next three we're going to talk about are ones from their just kind of like, I don't know what you would call it, just like their main kind of line. These are the really, really expensive ones, and these are my favorite from those. Now, I didn't pull out any rollerballs. I do have rollerballs, but I feel like if I loved the, any of those that much, I would have bought full bottles like I did with the Emochi Atelier in, uh, or Atelier in Tokyo. I started with a rollerball of that one, and then I bought a full bottle, so... Anyways, the first one we're going to talk about is called Violet Blossom. This is by far my favorite. Now, I think that there have been, because Zara is bad about just like recycling the name over and over again. So Violet Blossom five years ago might not be the same Violet Blossom that it is today. 
Um, they might just be using that name, but it's a completely different scent. Um, I have known Zara to do that. Now, there are two camps of people <laughs> that have opinions about this Violet Blossom. So, the first group of people think it smells like alien. The only thing that I can think of is that those people are smelling some sort of a different version because mine smells like it smells like a cross between like Poison Girl, the Eau de Parfum version of Poison Girl, and and something else. I can't remember. I used to, yeah, I can't remember what the other fragrance is. I'll remember what it is, but it might. It doesn't smell like Alien at all. This doesn't have jasmine in it. This is super warm and yummy and almost gourmand smelling. But this is such a stunner. This is such a beautiful bedtime fragrance. Like, I wear this to bed all the time because it is so beautiful. If I could figure out a way to make this last all day on me, like, I would easily wear this as a signature scent. It smells so amazing. Yeah, it's kind of like a cross between Poison Girl, the Eau de Parfum, and like Hypnotic Poison. Definitely, with no licorice and no anise in it. That's really what mine smells like. I don't know, it doesn't smell like Alien at all, so I'm thinking like that the people that think it smells like Alien are smelling maybe some kind of a different version. But anyways, I adore this. This is hands down, would be in my top five Zara for life <laughs> fragrances. Um, it is amazing. So that is Violet Blossom. I just wish it lasted longer. Okay, next one is Femme, and this one is so good too. Oh my gosh. This is a dupe for something. I should have looked it up. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's beautiful. This one is like again kind of powdery it almost has like a it almost has like a powdery almond vibe to it it leans gourmand oh my gosh it's so beautiful i will find the notes for this and i'll put them on the screen so you guys know what i'm smelling it is stunning i love this one this is another one that would definitely be in my top five Zara for Life. It's so good. But now Femme used to smell like something else because I have had a bottle of Femme before. I think I bought a bottle about five years ago, four or five years ago. It smelled completely different from this. It smelled like, not like this. It was a completely different fragrance. So, oh gosh, I love this. So anyways, that is Zara Femme. Uh, next, we have a really beautiful one. This is Wonder Rose, and this is just a fruity rose. This is like pear and rose and musk or something. It's beautiful. Um, actually, no, I don't think this even has rose in this. I think it's just like pear. It's pear, maybe red berries or something, and musk. It's beautiful. It's so good. It's just a super beautiful, fun, um, ugh, it's so good. And the longer these sit, the better they get. I know that sounds crazy for being like a, you know, a mass produced fragrance, but the longer these sit, the better they smell. This is beautiful. Pear and berries and musk, I think is what that one is. Okay, this next one is definitely so so worth $25. This is Rose Gourmand and this is an absolute 100% dupe for Mansara Rose's Vigny. It is beautiful. This is one that I can wear to work. This is a beast. It will get me through an entire 10 hour work day. I love this fragrance. This was the one I sold my Red Temptation because that's a dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540. I've got so many fragrances with that scent profile in my collection that I didn't need it. But um, so many people were asking me to sell this and I was like, no, I can't do it. 
This is so beautiful and it's so well done. And for being a Zara fragrance, like I couldn't do it. But anyway, it smells exactly like Mansara uh, Roses Vanille. Again, they just restocked this. So if you're, inter if you're interested in it, run and try to get it before it goes out of stock again. So that is Rose Gourmand. Okay, this next one, speaking of Baccarat Rouge 540 scent profile, um, this next one smells very much like it. This is Mimosa Cloud, and this is another absolute beast. This will get me through an entire work day. In fact, I think I'm going to wear this to work tomorrow now that I pulled it out. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is pistachio and something else. That's why I picked it up, though, because it had the pistachio in it. But it's another one of those um, Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe type fragrances. But I love it. It's a good one. It's just slightly different. It's sweet. It's more of, I would say it's more of a dupe for Cloud, for Ariana Grande's Cloud, than Baccarat Rouge 540, really. Because it's sweet. Not that Baccarat Rouge 540 isn't sweet, but I don't know. I love this one, though. 17 bucks for this huge, what is this? Yeah, for a 3.4 ounce bottle, and it's such good quality. It's so good. This is like, this would be another one of my top five Zara for Life fragrances. So that is Zara Mimosa Cloud. I'm so excited to get my, my Zara order in that I just ordered. I can't wait to smell that musk one that comes in the same bottle as this. Okay, I'm sure it's a dupe for something. Okay, these next three, these were only on the Zara website for a hot minute, and I and they sold out really fast, and then they restocked them again, and then I think they're sold out again, so they might restock them, but I don't know. Um, these are supposed to be dupes for Byredo fragrances, and this first one is called Amber Linen, and this one is so good. <laughs> this is like Ambrette and some other things. Again, I'll put the notes on the screen for you guys. Ugh, I can't even remember. I think maybe vanilla or amber. No, it's not amber because they always like they'll say amber, but then it won't just like the Wonder Rose, Wonder Rose, but it has no rose in it. I'm thinking that's the same with this one, but it's beautiful. These are really beautiful, unique, like really nice fragrances for being Zara. Um, I'm so glad I picked those up. So that first one is Amber Linen. This next one is called Indigo Mohair. Ugh, this is a rose fragrance. Oh, this is a beautiful rose. Oh my gosh. I forget about these too. I need to pull these out. They're so gorgeous. So Indigo Mohair, that's a beautiful rose fragrance. And then we've got Rosy Mousseline. And this one, I think, is another... This is... Um... Maybe this is the one with Ambrette. I can't remember. The Amber Linen has... Gosh, I can't remember the notes in that one. The Amber Linen is like, I don't know. This one is Ambrette. Yeah, the Rosy Mousseline has the Ambrette in it. I can't remember. I'll put the notes on the screen for you guys, though. Beautiful, unique, really, really well done Zara fragrances. So if these ever come back in stock, you guys, definitely check them out. They're so good. Okay, and then last but not least, um, the Joe Loves or the Zara Emotions fragrances. I picked my favorites from the line. Um, first one, I love this one. This is the new, not the newest because they just released some new ones, but this is like the last newest one. And this is called Joe's Rhubarb and this is beautiful. This is Rhubarb and I think Vetiver. Oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. If you're into like a super tart rhubarb fragrance or if you're into rhubarb, and you like that really tart, almost green, like rhubarb fragrance. And if you like vetiver, you would love this. Um, I hate that this didn't, didn't come in the one or whatever size this is. What is this? Yeah, this is a 1.35 ounce bottle. 
Um, this Joe's Rhubarb only came in a 90 ml bottle, so this is a 3.04 ounce bottle. It's gorgeous though. It's so good, but these do not last at all. Like, you'll get maybe an hour out of a Joe Loves fragrance. They're so bad, but they're so stunning. Uh, so that is Joe's Rhubarb. Next is Vetiver Pamplemousse. This is, uh, again, Vetiver and Grapefruit. This is the most, like, uh, realistic, juicy grapefruit smell. It's so good. If you're looking for a really, really good grapefruit fragrance, this is definitely it. This one, it's not like horrible, especially for being a citrus fragrance, but again, you're only going to get a couple hours out of it maybe. Um, I haven't tested these in hot weather yet though, so I will definitely um, pull these out in, in the heat and try them out and see how they last like that. So that is Vetiver Pamplemousse. Okay, and these last two ones are my absolute favorite. The first one is Water Lily Tea Dress. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful watery floral fragrance. Very, very slightly sweet, but mostly just like a watery spring, almost like a wildflower type fragrance. It's so, so beautiful. So Water Lily Tea Dress. I've been meaning to pick up the lotions too because they have lotions to match some of these. Um, and I'm wondering if maybe I got a lotion and layered this over the lotion, if that would help maybe with longevity. We'll see. I'll try them out. The lotions are really inexpensive too, like 12 bucks. So Water Lily Tea Dress. And then last but not least is my absolute favorite. You can see this is the one that I've used the most of. Um, I've got a good dent in this guy. This is Bohemian Bluebells, and this is a lavender. This is a lavender fragrance. Oh my gosh. This reminds me a lot of Sleepy from Lush. It's a beautiful lavender. Ugh, sweet. It's so good. It might have some vanilla. I can't remember the notes, but again, I'll put them on the screen. Ugh, gorgeous. This is my favorite by far of the entire Joe Loves or Zara Motions collection. This is by far my favorite. So Bohemian Bluebells. So that's it, guys. Those are all of my favorite fragrances from Zara. You will definitely be seeing another small little Zara haul coming soon. I've got another couple fragrances coming, but I do hope that you enjoyed this. Again, um, if you are not subscribed, please make sure that you are. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!